Welcome to Electro Online. So here we're reshooting this particular video because I made a silly mistake on it when we did it the first time. And I made that silly mistake because I was not paying attention. And that's usually where our errors come from. So let's try this one again. We're given a function where y equals the sine of the sine of x. And we're trying to find the tangent line to that function at the point pi zero. All right. In order to find the line, that means we need to something in the form of y equals mx plus b, because that's the general equation of a line, which means we need to find the slope of the line, and we need to find the y-intercept. Okay, to find the slope of the line, we're going to find the derivative of our function, and then plug in the value for x at which we need to find the slope. All right, so we get uh, y prime, which is equal to dy dx, which is equal to the derivative of our function with respect to x. So the derivative of the sine is the cosine, so we get the cosine of the sine of x times the derivative of the angle, which is times the cosine of x. So there's the derivative of the function. Now we're going to evaluate the derivative at the value of x equals pi. So dy dx, when x equals pi is equal to the cosine of the sine of pi times the cosine of pi. All right, the sine of pi, that's 180 degrees, the sine of 180 is zero, but the cosine of zero, that's equal to one. So this is equal to one times the cosine of pi, the cosine of 180 degrees is the negative one. So a one times a negative one equals negative one, which that's the slope of our function at that particular point. So now we realize that the equation looks like y equals minus x plus b. The next thing we need to do is find the intercept b. To do that, we're given a point on the line, pi and zero, so we can plug that in for x and y in our equation. So we're going to let y equals zero equals an x equal pi. So therefore we realize that pi or b equals pi, and therefore our equation then becomes y equals minus x plus pi. So there's the equation of the straight line that is tangent to our function at the point pi zero. And that is how it's done. Okay, this time I heard right. Ha, ha, ha.